the channel. I'm Ron, if you're new here. Today I'm gonna to show you an easy way to bring out all those fall and autumn colors in your videos or change any color in your video with something called the HSL Secondary Tool in Adobe Premiere Pro. Okay, so one of the things that's really nice with what I'm gonna show you is you can take any color, for example, the grass behind me, my jacket, the sky, uh, the fall leaves, whatever you want, and literally change it to any other color. Um, you can, you know, really make the fall and autumn colors pop, or you know, make a make a video much warmer uh, or or uh, uh, cooler, depending on what kind of look you're going for. So let's jump inside, and we'll get started. Hey, welcome back. Now that we're inside and I have everything up in front of me here in my timeline, let me kind of walk you through this. One thing I did notice uh, when playing around with this as well was uh, the background colors, for example, your fall colors. I think this HSL secondary tool works really well for that kind of thing. Um, when I was trying to adjust, for example, my blue jacket uh, shown in here in the clip earlier, uh, the colors didn't look as natural to me just using the HSL secondary tool. There's probably a way to adjust it further, but for simplicity purposes, what I found um, after testing this more thoroughly is it works really, really good for, like I said, those fall colors, the background colors behind you in the leaves and the trees and the grass and things like that. So with that being said, let me walk you through the timeline here. What we have here is the clip that we saw earlier. And I have up here on the far right hand side, the um, HSL secondary uh, tab that you can see that I was talking about. If you don't see this and your layout on your Adobe screen might be slightly different than mine, go up here to your windows section and make sure that you have this option here for Lumetri color uh, turned on. So once I'm in my timeline and you can stretch this out as you need to. Hopefully you're somewhat familiar with this tool. Come over here on the far right, pick your primary dropper right here on the far left, select the color. In this example, I'm gonna pick the green, um, but you wanna refine that a little bit further. So there's a plus dropper here next to, in the center, uh, select that plus dropper. And you can kind of scrub over, or scroll over this section that you wanna uh, adjust. And if you want to remove a certain color, there's a dropper here on the far right with a minus sign next to it. You can click that. If you accidentally, for example, got some of the sky in there or something from this background, you can uh, take that out. Um, so you have the HSL, so it's hue, saturation, and the L is the lightness. What you do is come down here where it says color gray, turn that box on. It's going to show you what's affected and what's not affected. And there's a couple options here. You can do this color gray, color black, and white and black. I per personally for this, I'm gonna use the color gray. So what you see here is, right now it's, it's selecting part of the blue jacket. I don't want that, so I'm gonna exclude that with the dropper. Um, again, the minus sign here, I got the sky I'm picking up on. I don't want the sky in here. So I'm gonna exclude that as well. And Looks like I got some of my face in here. I don't want that. And what you want to do is you can slide these uh, bars here the, at the top, first one for hue, and see what's going to be affected. And you can adjust it by grabbing that top arrow and fine tuning it a little bit and the bottom arrow here for small adjustments as well. So what I want to do is see just those sections that, I'm, that, want to, that I want to affect. And again, you can come in here to this color gray, do black and white if it helps. Fine tune this. So again, just the background that I want to touch should show up here, nothing else. You see, it probably shows up a little bit better when I'm screen recording uh, to do it this way for the black in color. And then you have your, uh, like I said, the um, saturation, the second tool here. You can adjust and refine things here as well. What you want to uh, have adjusted. Again, I'm primarily focusing on the foliage in the background. So you can kind of tweak this a little bit and this here and then we have the 
uh, lightness down here. We can adjust this a little bit. And you're just going to play around with it <clears throat> to get the desired effect that you want to see. And as you can see, I've got a lot of the green in the background. I've got some of the, let me uncheck this here. I've got some of the ground along here. Not really touching too much of the road, but I can clean that up a little bit. Let's see here. There we go, it's a little better. Okay, so we'll leave it like that. So for the most part, I'm just touching the foliage in the background. And now come down here and you can either select the for the correction tool, the single icon or the one that's grouped here. The one on the right gives you a little more control over your shadows, midtones and highlights. And you can adjust the temperature now I have a lot of green in this. I want to cool the image a little bit and bring up those fall colors in the background. So I'm going to slide this to the right and you can see that changing in the background there. And I'm going to slide, that was the temperature, I'm going to slide the tint to the right a little bit. And the contrast, move that a little bit. And if I want to bring down the shadows Move this over into that orange and yellow range up a little bit. Bring down the midtones a little. Actually, I'll bring those up a little bit. Move this to that left hand corner as well. And the highlights, I can bring that up just a little bit as well. And bring that up to the corner a little bit, the yellows and the reds and the oranges up this way. And you can see in the background here. I've changed what was uh, green before to the, uh, let's run through this clip now. You can see everything's changed, the background's changed. I didn't change anything in the foreground. I didn't change my jacket, my uh, t-shirt, anything up here, but just everything in the background uh, is now changed. And let me see if I can show you before and after. So that's before and that's after. And that's really it. So it's a pretty simple fix. You can see it really pops here in the background. Before, after, before, after. So that's, that's really the walkthrough. So it's the HSL secondary tab with, within the Lumetri color panel uh, under the color settings of Adobe Premiere Pro. Oh, and before you go, if you wouldn't mind giving the video a thumbs up if you found it informative or helpful, I'd appreciate it. Uh, thank you to all the active subscribers. If you're not an active subscriber, I hope you'll think about subscribing. And until next time, happy flying.